So the average male would be sitting at home right now, procrastinating, probably watching Netflix, YouTube, eating a bag of chips, whacking it, all this instant gratification, all this comfortability. You get the picture, right? He knows that he's supposed to be in the gym, but he puts it off for comfort. Now, the warrior, the successful man, he's grinding. No matter what happens, he's focused on his end goal. He knows what he must do, and he knows what steps to take to accomplish it. He lives his life based off his purpose and what he will achieve. Why are you procrastinating? Why are you not working? Why are you not growing? Why are you not taking the first step and getting out of your comfort zone? I'll tell you why. And it's because your peanut brain is telling you to stay comfortable. It's having you choose temporary pleasures over your future, over your success, over your goals, over what you want in life, because it's comfortable. Why am I making this video? As I was procrastinating once to the gym, I was scrolling through YouTube shorts. And I came across this video. Like you wanna talk about getting out of your comfort zone, that's it. That's the goal, that's what they want. So these, like they're risking their life, they're dying, they're ready to do whatever it takes so their kids, their grandkids, their future generation can have peace, can have an advancement in life. And then you look at somebody else, you look at the average man now, we have that peace, but at what cost? Because now we're comfortable, now we're overweight. Now our testosterone is lower than it has ever been. We have no goals, no purpose, and most people are like this. And now I know there's gonna be some people that say like, oh, it's not that deep, bro, life or death, like, come on now. Like, don't take life too seriously now. Like, why? The, you know, it always bothered me when people said that. Your purpose is not a joking matter. And if you don't have a purpose, it's almost like you're lost. You have to go after what you want. If you want to be great, you have to achieve what most people can't do and most people won't do. While people are sleeping, you're, you're doing your thing. There's even weird stuff that you have to do. You think most guys, the average guy journals, the average guy will make jokes. Haha, <laughs> bro, that's kind of gay. What, you got a diary? <laughs> But then they're the same ones that have bad mental health. They're the same ones that have no purpose. For people like that, like, oh, it's not that serious, bro. Just, just click off. I'm not even talking to you. This video is not even for you. Regardless of whether we're in battle or not, or if we're in a warring time, or if we're in a time of peace, or if our life is serious or it, it isn't, you want to take everything as a joke because it's funny, right? Nah, it's the mindset that impressed me watching that video. There's someone depending on me. There's people depending on me. There's people depending on you. There's someone depending on you, whether you might not even feel like it. You're depending on yourself. Don't sacrifice your future self for a moment of instant pleasure. This doesn't control you. This is not you. This is just a product of the things you repetitively do every day. So if you practice bad habits every day, bad habits every day, and then you try to do something good, you're going to have the same thought pattern of those bad habits that you practice even if you try to do something good. It's like a big wave and you kind of got to build a bigger wave to fight that. Don't be intimidated by that analogy because that's really how it is. You can find the calm and peace in the wave and control your mind with things like improving your mental health and, and meditation. Not even meditation, just improving your mental health is the, is the very vital first step to anything you even try to do relating to your purpose. Because if you don't have mental health, you don't have a car to get anywhere. So my advice to you is to find your purpose and if you have a purpose, but you just, you kind of uh, putting it off. You know, you should be writing music, but you're watching Netflix. You know, you should be recording, taking pictures, but you're scrolling through Instagram. You know, you're supposed to shoot a film, but you're watching YouTube videos. That purpose, don't sacrifice it. Dedicate your life to that so that you may achieve it to the highest level. On that path, you have to sacrifice a lot of things. You gotta choose which heart. Once it's a routine, once a habit, the progress just goes like that and it's easy. It's not even hard for you to go to the gym because that's it, like you just go. Because it's already ingrained in you. So it's the, it's the two waves. You sacrifice your future self, your best self for comfortable and in the moment pleasure. Or you sacrifice maybe a little bit of time with friends, a little bit of time with family maybe some sleep, maybe your your free time that you spend on YouTube or on Instagram or all that other stuff. But for the highest form, that this stuff is always gonna be there. 
this comfortable little stuff is always gonna be there. I deleted Instagram for, for three months. I was scared because I thought I was missing out on something. And the stuff that I saw before I deleted is the same stuff I saw on it when I got back. So honestly, which is, which is the easier choice? Like, yeah, it's hard at first, you know, you kind of don't see it happening at first, but once you start asking how, once you dedicate your life to that purpose, then the, the, the C parts for you. All you gotta do is just walk through it. And there might be some bumps, there might be some hills you gotta climb, but you'll get through it. My advice to you is to grab a hold of your purpose, make that your life, and don't let it go. Do what others won't do. So then eventually you can do what others can't do. Not everybody won't wake up at five in the morning. Not everybody even goes to the gym. Not everybody watches these videos. Not everybody meditates. Not everybody works on stuff that they're passionate about. When they know that that's something they're supposed to be doing, they know that that's that they want to achieve to the next level. That's what they want. They talk about it, but they're not about it, you know? They don't do anything. So have mental strength. Whenever you hear your mind want to put something off, see that as an opportunity to be like, oh yeah, you're trying to put something off? All right, then I should actually be doing that because you're trying to keep me comfortable. But I'm, I'm trying to be different. I'm trying to be the 10%. I'm trying to be the 1%. But that's it, guys. I love you. Like, subscribe, share my video. It helps, you know, anybody else that needs it. I'm very appreciative. We're almost to 100 subscribers. Just like 40 more subscribers to go. But you know what? I'm glad that I have you guys. Because you guys are the OGs. But man, love. I appreciate it. Um, I said enough wise words. Peace.